Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal versus Croatia. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Luka Modric plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Andrei Kramaric. And the match begins. They've given him too much space. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group. They had to go through playoff matches. Hold on, Derek. Chance here. Marvellous anticipation. Well, he's a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders. He's got that ability to run with the ball into open space. He can... Joao Felix! A smart stop here. Delivering it. Well dealt with that ball comfortably. Across, lacking guile and accuracy. Andrei Kramaric. Mario Pasalic. It's a good-looking ball in behind. And the alarm bells are ringing. Terrific save. Well, that's a top-class save. He read it so well. A corner from Modric. And clearing it away. Could take the lead. Finish it. And not an effort that will live long in the memory. Well, the defenders will be relieved because that was a good chance. From that sort of distance, he should really be hitting the target. It was a really poor attempt in the end. Bruno Fernandes. Well read to win possession back. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. And the ball's gone. Andrei Kramaric. Josip Juranovic. Options in the middle. Ronaldo. He's going forward well here. 
Real chance. Well, goodness me. Into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Ronaldo. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Modric. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes has it. Oh, managing to beat him and keeping it out. Who can they pick out? And clears the danger. Felix. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Ivan Perisic in the centre. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Danger averted for now. Brozovic. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Kovacic in possession to give them the lead, maybe. And the referee says penalty. Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. Well, a lot of referees would have booked him there, but I'm with him on this one. No yellow card for me. This to open the scoring here. And confidently converted. Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. Goal. And Portugal get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? Mateo Kovacic. Now options are plenty. Superb block. They've lost possession of the ball. Mario Pasalic. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And Perisic prepared to fire. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Ronaldo, Ronaldo! Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And Ronaldo's shot is then hit with such power. He's a top-class player when he gets into those areas. Away again here on the back of that leveler. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Determined defending. Gvardiol. And Portugal will get the throw in. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Ronaldo. Opportunity in the wide area. Shot attempted. The save was a good one. Played over. Not the best clearance. And Bernardo Silva has it. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. 
And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Dallo. Here's Bernardo Silva. And a long way out. The first half here comes to an end. So back underway here into the second half. Perisic. A poor cross, all things considered. Guerrero. On the ball, Joao Felix. This is looking threatening. Well, closed down straight away. Now they've lost it. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Nicely timed tackle. Mateo Kovacic. Perisic with the ball. Cristiano Ronaldo. Real chance. Oh, a goal to give them the lead. And look at the celebrations. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And Ronaldo finishes it with so much quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Played the pass up there to Ivan Perisic. Delivered into the area here. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Could be a chance to break here. All hands on deck. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. And it's going to require some attention here. So the referee has called a halt to the proceedings. So a drop ball here following the stoppage. But it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Modric. Possession given away, unfortunately. Ivan Perisic, Andrei Kramaric, excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Felix, oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Andrei Kramaric, and the counter looks on here, options available. Kramaric. Could be. Just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. Otavio. 
Ramos. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Opportunity! And the keeper flings himself at the ball. And now the delivery. Well, too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. Perfectly positioned to take it away. And they know they need to stop him, but really sticking to their task defensively. Well, since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Is this the moment? Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. He's driven in the corner. And that is a defender doing his job, clearing it off the line. Joao Felix. A terrific defending. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Well, not enough subtlety about that free kick, I'm afraid. Not a good pass. Mateo Kovacic. Just ten minutes remaining here. Ottavio. Good effort. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Not much time to make up his mind. Mateo Kovacic. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. Good tackle. chance oh it looked as though he might be through not so and Portugal moving the ball forward what can they do from here well disappointing end to the move Ivan Perisic can he find the right pass well they're attacking but time is the great enemy Kovacic is ready, and keeping it out. And time for the change now. A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Good pressure, can they make something of this? Vlasic. Look at Modric. Fine goalkeeping, good diving stop. A corner from Modric. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe. Now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. Portugal, the world champions! And this is finally Portugal's time, fully deserved, best team in the world.
Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.